things. I have a little box here, which you may recognize, even if it's a distance. It's nothing more or less than the box that the toothpaste, Goldgate toothpaste comes in. And it's fluoridated. Did you know that every toothpaste, no matter just Colgate, any toothpaste that has fluoride in it has the following warning printed on the box as well as on the tube. Did you know there was a warning on those tubes? A lot of people didn't. I'm glad that this group is a little better educated. And let me just quick read you. It's in tiny, tiny print, so I just printed it out for myself so I could read it easily. It says, warnings. Keep out of the reach of children under six years of age. Don't you want to teach your kids to brush their teeth? Keep out of the... You can't give them toothpaste. But you're told that they need the fluoride so that they get healthy teeth and no cavities, aren't you? Well, listen to this. If more than is used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, mind you, kids don't have the capability yet of spitting out this toothpaste. If it's accident, but they flavor it like candy, they make it look like candy. If it's accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact the Poison Control Center right away. Did you know there was poison? They mark it, they tell you so. Most people don't read this. A couple of years ago, I had the same box, and I had an audience of larger group than this even, of uh, 1,200 people. And I asked for a show of hands who read it and who kept it out of reach of children. Not one single hand went up. People don't believe that there's poison in something that they put in their mouth. Never mind six-year-olds. How about you? Do you think it's good for you to put poison in your mouth? Even if you spit it out, the mouth and the mucous membrane in the mouth is highly absorptive, and you'll get this poison. Furthermore, dentists who are knowledgeable and honest will tell you that there is no proof that fluoride does anything to prevent cavities. On the contrary, there are two cities, for instance, Toronto and Vancouver in Canada. Toronto has long been fluoridated. Vancouver is not. Vancouver has healthier children with less cavities and healthier adults and healthier elderly people without the broken bones because they get brittle and they cause damage. Hey, this isn't all. Children two to four use only a pea-sized amount and supervise the child's brushing and rinsing to minimize swallowing. They tell you don't swallow it, don't let your kids swallow it. It's poison. And if they do, control the, they contact the poison control center. But they fluoridate your water. More than 52% of American states and cities have now fluoridated water. Why? It doesn't do a thing to help your teeth or your children's teeth. It is one of the most powerful poisons there are. It's highly toxic. It causes bones to be brittle, teeth to get blackened. And it damages your immune system, the very system that you need to keep you healthy and to help to fight uh, uh, infections and cancer. It's not just cancer. And now comes something else interesting. There was a professor of dentistry at Harvard University, worldwide recognized university, Harvard. 
who had an assistant who happened to be studying for a PhD. And this assistant was working on <clears throat> fluoridation and found a very heavy contact between boys, especially from Harvard, who were getting fluoridated water for several years also in their home states and hometowns, and a very nasty form of cancer called osteosarcoma. It's a bone cancer. It's painful, and there's no cure, and chemo only worsens it, and chemo makes money for them. And she presented this to the professor by the name of Douglas, in case you run across it. I don't keep this secret. <laughs> and what did he do with this tremendously important information that boys were getting sick and dying from the fluoridated water? What did he do? He hid it in a drawer way deep down under his desk. Nobody ever heard about it. As long as this woman was his assistant studying for her PhD, but then she got her PhD, stopped her connection, made herself uh, a private, she became a pri in private practice, and she published this material that she found. Now here stands Harvard with egg in their faces. Their professor was hiding the fact that what he was promoting, fluoride, was killing young men, miserably, in pain and misery. And then comes the upshot. Professor Douglas, it turned out, was paid by Colgate to promote fluoridation. And just so that, you know, he showed that he really meant well, he gave a million dollars for a new dental building at Harvard. Now, what professor do you know gets enough pay to donate a million dollars? Colgate donated. Okay, so be careful. And I have another little bit of advice. If you're not going to read these warnings, best of all, don't ever buy anything or eat anything or feed your children anything or give them anything that has to have printed material on it that says what's in it. And God forbid, if there is something on that, in that material, any words that you don't understand or anything that you're not quite sure the good Lord put on the earth for us to eat, don't touch. Don't touch.